Secretary 1986 GMT General Cummins 22,000 pounds. This thing weighs 855 cubic inch Cummins. Now they put the turbine tires on this rig. The idea is here to get as much rubber to the ground as you possibly can. This thing will not be doing much for wheelies. Last night it kind of got bouncing on it. It had to get out of the throttle. And again, the same problem we saw with the Prairie Outlaw. A couple other guys had problems with that last night. So, we're going to see how these guys could do. Mike Brednick doing the piloting of this hot rod. Big automatic transmission in it. On come the lights. This is a military unit that's been much too modified and played with. So, six wheel drive. All six of those big boots lay in the part of the ground out of that 855 cubic inch comments. Quite a bit different, way quieter, totally different rig than we'll see out of the rest of these units. Can't wait to see what it is tonight yet. It's like just after the morning. A little automatic shifting gears. What a ride! What a ride in there! But he did that right off the it's top. It's a job site mechanical. Both of this together to have a little fun. You see the hitch that they've got on there? That plugs into the original fifth wheel plate that these military units use. So this is about having a lot of money to any other class up the center. These guys are having a whole big time stuff. with what we just saw here with these big supermarket trackers. But we got some more assemblies coming out of the set here. 24297. We got up to a whole 11 miles an hour compared to the 30 plus that these guys are pulling. I said to so we were looking at these supermod tractors. Obviously, odds of them three. Joe Hofford, by far, got number one. He went down the track at 30 miles an hour. With the front tires eight feet in the air. Exactly. Just another invader with a big Allison. He cranked out 24 miles an hour. Hurry up, I never did get far down with a 20.7. So now, Dallas, hopefully this running on is right. We should be having it is national coming up. It looks like a fuel truck. Harold Wedding from Roxton. Mighty International. Big Cummins in there, 20 ton is what that thing is. Really, it looks like a fuel wow. <laughs> So he might have an advantage there. He's got some weight. But he's got a new yeah. team speed in there, so you know as a gear jammer what he's got to do. Well, that's right, you know, and in this semi-class, it's all about gear selection. You've got to make sure that you pick the right gear, because uh, you don't have a lot of time to think about switching gears. That big 6x6 six six went through, and he was shifting a couple of gears. But I guess you've got to 
find out what gear you want to go in. Speed is definitely a, a good factor in this because you want to get that momentum going before that big box starts chasing you. Will we see how he makes out the this big is international fuel drum? His first fall ever. We all gotta start somewhere. Yep. Might as well bring your fuel truck to town. See what we're gonna do here. We got anybody in the crowd from Roxton? Oh, he's got lots of fans. You better cheer him on. Jump the club. Oh, he picked a tall gear. He picked a tall gear. He's going to be delivering fuel to Tim Hortons. Uh-oh. Now look what that sled's doing, Tom. Wow, that was a pretty good job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him. Wow. That is darn good. That is darn good. No wheel hopping. 20 tons of common power. Hit that tall gear. You got lots of road speed going on there. Dug it along. He's going to drag that thing all the way back to Roxton. Once again, we are so uh, happy that we were invited out here. Northern Exhibition Association. Make sure you like and share their Facebook page. You want to know what's going on in Yorkton at the Exhibition Grounds. They've got it posted on their Facebook page. And, of course, Yorkton Hyundai. Ron Caban and all of his staff stepping up to the plate with huge sponsorship. Helping us out here today. Got to go down to this dealership. Check it out. If you're looking for a brand new vehicle, some of the safest vehicles on the road today, right there, those Hyundais. And if it's out of your budget, they have an excellent lineup of certified used units. That is awesome. International 19300 Dave Fight out of Yorkton. Yeah, he pulled last night, but he was kind of the mystery man yes, for us because we had no paperwork we on nothing. We were told it was a map, but it was an international, and he had a heck of a pull. 675. Wow, he picked up. the tall gear, too. He picked the tall gear. Gotta be 267, and he did. Wow, that's your leader right there, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting a big international. Ten feet over the next post competitor at the moment. Two seventy-seven. Wow. The other international. Two sixty-seven and the money pit with two forty-two. But coming out in a big way. The next guy coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is one that we've been thanking all weekend. This is Delwyn with Liebert Trucking. He's the one that brought us this fantastic play. I think you should start selling this stuff because, wow, it's the best track that we've pulled on for years. It stayed consistent all day yesterday and all night tonight. With the heat that we had and the wind, and it's just still holding the horsepower. But last night, Delwyn was your winner in the semi-class with his big nasty feet. He's pulling in here again, and Wayne will tell you a bit about his rig. You got it. 
Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. 379 Peak, 2006 vintage, model 379. It's got a 600 horsepower C15 cap. I'm going to go that hot rod. And it is. He, he laid down a pass last night. He beat everybody by trunk lengths. And we'll see how Delwyn does now. You know, and he's a pretty tall fella. We had him over here, we talked to him. He's a pretty tall fella. So when he stops that foot into the gas pedal, it's almost all the way to the front bumper. So, we're saying he's got reach. He, he's got reach, yeah. He's got game and he's got reach. And he's going to show these guys how the big old Pete's going to yank on this thing. Said last night he was our winner in our semi class. He's got to be 277. That's the magic number. So, watch the screen. Let's see what he does. He didn't pick quite as tall a gear, though. Maybe he's got something up his sleeve. He's got all that wind over those back tires. That's the deal. Now let's go. Oh, my! Oh, so close. So close. Oh, boy! 277.15 was the magic number. Wow. Let's see what he did. He was your winner last night, but unfortunately he's second place tonight. Wow, that was a good job. That one with Liebrecht Trucking, ladies and gentlemen, show him some love. He's going to do a flyby here. I think his was gear selection tonight. Yes, it was. Everybody else took the tall gear and got rolling. He's going to catch up to Fantastic. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we were selling 50-50 tickets to you guys in the stands all night. You guys made us very happy. We raised some good money for the Yorkton Exhibition Association so we can keep putting on fantastic events like this. But our first ticket out tonight we almost gave up on him. Tyson New and he's going for a ride with Billy Cole in Billy Cole's nasty hot rod that he calls the Big Red Express. And if you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you still have room on your phone for pictures, this is another fantastic opportunity for you to get some good photos. This truck is very, very photogenic. Here he comes from Body Bay over to Billy Cole in the Big Red Express. 1966 Canadian Kenway. 12 years, 71 Jimmy Diesel. Also, the future generation, 71 cubic inches per cylinder. Twin turbo, two floor, supercharger set in the middle. Each supercharger is dumped into by a big turbocharger, so the turbo boost here going into the floor. That air is cooled with an intercooler. Once those floors grab that boost today, they dump a ton more into those big 71 cubic inch cylinders with a whole lot more boost. It's after cooled as well. 250 kilometers flat out would burn 500 gallons of diesel fuel. That's the kind of fuel he's dumping in that hot rod. And ladies and gentlemen, riding along with him, your lucky winner for tonight, Tyson Newman. He's going to go for a ride on the highway to hell with Billy Cole on a body wheel.
and you can go back and check out them hard.